Shadow, I've interviewed a lot of celebrities and interviewed a number of famous artists, including Andy Warhol, but I've never interviewed a celebrity who's an artist. So how did this all start for you? Give us a glimpse of your mind. Ah, uh, well, it all began on the plains of Dakota a long, long time ago. My mother taught me to uh, draw when I was about two or three. By the time I was seven, I found Tramp from Lady and the Tramp and I drew Tramp, and my Tramp looked great, and my mother raved, and I got excited, and all I could do was draw. By the time I was 13, I was doing monster shirts in a mall, the Tempo Mall in Jamestown, North Dakota, and it was exciting. I had my own little pad, and I would draw with magic markers and fluorescent paint, and I would copy a Big Daddy Roth and Stanley Mouse, Mouse who did monsters in cars, and I love those monsters in cars, and I learned it. When I could learn to do what they did, oh, please, then I was in demand. What about your influences? Who inspired you? My first major inspiration was uh, Dr. Robert A. Nelson, who was my art advisor at the University of North Dakota, and he said, drawing was the first art, and everything else springs from that. Then, of course, there's Salvador Dali and M.C. Escher and Peter Max and Magritte and Max Ernst and Windsor McKay, the, the man who really invented animation. And then, of course, today there's Terry Gilliam and Basquiat and Shepard Ferry and I love street art, uh, Banksy and Mr. Brainwash. People Magazine described you as an undefinable talent in an indescribable job. So how would you describe your art? I, uh, I call it Transcendental Wahoo. It's multimedia art uh, based on imagination and optical illusions and uh, what I call time-released mirth. It is humor that isn't, doesn't really act like humor. It doesn't, it isn't really funny or make you laugh out loud, but later it may come back to you or you may find it in a glance as you walk by and think, uh, I find myself smirking. That is time really smirth. you have a whole new iteration with a focus on celebrities. I call it Iconic Kinetic, uh, or if I did it as Salvador Dali, I would go Iconic Kinetic. <laughs> what it is is uh, kaleidoscopic expressionism, to paint a picture with it. Um, it's combining images, painting, and occasionally ephemera. You understand ephemera, of course. Kaleidoscopic expressionism. Uh, interpretations, kaleidoscopic interpretations, expressing movement and outlook and perspective. So your initial celebrity was Marilyn. Frankly, I like yours better than Warhol's. And I must say that I appreciate your great taste and extraordinarily high IQ. Um, Marilyn Heaven is basically kind of an optical illusion based on Marilyn at her most innocent and radiant physical beauty. And it's all there, all at once, up and down, back and forth, and in and out, and everywhere you look. There's nothing more iconic today than superstar athletes, and I know you've got something really special that you're working on. Yeah, well, Shohei Otani has done basically everything there is to do in baseball. So this is The Way of the Warrior with a bat a master of the sport in the highest form of kaleidoscopic expressionism, epic, iconic, kinetic. <laughs>
Kissed by? Now that would take some thinking. How many men do you think there have been? I wouldn't know. Just give me an idea. Can't you give me a rough estimate? Not without an anti machine. You don't have your anti machine with you, do you? Oh, uh, yeah, I have an anti machine. Do you really? Sure. Well, great, then we can figure out who the first one is. Oh, look at this! Detroit, start with Detroit. That was a week there, 142. Mm -hmm. 